what's going on, y'all? You're tuning in to another exciting episode of It's Just Mario, and I'm Mario Ramon, your host. And today, we're going to talk about The Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 5 Reunion Show! Did the girls give it to us the way we like it? No, they did not. This first episode, like the part one, hold on, let me turn this music down, baby. You got me talking Alabama. Let me turn this music down. They did not give it to us the way we expected them to give it to us. You know, we didn't even get to the part where Apollo and Kenya started battling and she pulled out the text and everything. So they made us hold on and we didn't get to the part when Kim was walking out of the closed doors and Nene was like, come on, Wick. And we want to see war. We saw battle, but we did not see war. We saw, all I got out of this reunion show is Candy, you know, she's semi-hurt, which she's always semi-hurt, so she was semi-hurt by the things that Nene would say, and then Nene's trying to make sense of why I can say these things about you. It's my opinion, Candy. It's my opinion. Well, Candy has an opinion, and when she uses her opinion, then she's hurting your big feelings. That's not fair, Nene. So that's really pretty much all I got of that. Now the girls look beautiful. They look beautiful. Okay. Let's start with Candy. Candy looked beautiful. She had this uh, Roman Empire half shoulder shala on and her hair was like Mulan and she had the glossy lips. All right, the pretty old candy lips. And she showed her everything. She showed her E-I-E-I-O -E -I to the cameraman, baby. And then we had, who, who else do we have? We had um, Phaedra, who was, her hair was up and she had this black maternity wear shala on. And Phaedra looked pretty pretty. You know, she looked pretty pretty. Pretty Ricky. Pretty, pretty. Right. She looked pretty good, actually. Uh, Phaedra looked beautiful for an eight, eight-month-old pregnant woman. And Nini, she had her turquoise and her Illuminati gold on. It was the gold in the middle of her chest and her shoulders. And the Faith Evans um, blonde wig with the uh, Missy Elliott finger waves. And Nini gave it to us. And she gave us legs because y'all know Nini gives us greased up legs okay and um who else we had cynthia who she gave us cleavage and boobs and the mulan hair oh miss cynthia gave it to us the way we like it cynthia changes her oh she is just a chameleon that's right she, and her hair was coming from her roots tonight moment of silence for cynthia's hair right who else? We, oh, we, of course we have the most infamous Kenya. Oh, my Kenya. Oh, our Kenya had on the lime green mixed with yellow. And it was beautiful. And she had her fan. Oh, this bitch was serious with this fan, baby. Whenever you said something she didn't like, she flicked it. And she flicked it twice on certain occasions. And she did like this. But Candy said, bitch, if you don't flick that fan with your left hand, honey, and you um, crack me in my cornea by mistake, honey, and I'll sue you, but you do not have enough money for my um, cornea. Oh, they talked about, what did they talk about? Oh, right, right, right. Oh, uh, those legs. Oh, it's too much legs. It's chocolate legs. Chocolate legs. Chocolate legs for days inside of hills. And if you have a foot fetish, you can imagine all those beautiful women with their old chocolate legs up there and Andy Cohen sitting in the middle. He don't know nothing about it. But those chocolate legs and you just take their shoes off and massage their feet feet from the palm of their foot with some oil right and put that big toe in your mouth and chew on it chocolate legs, chocolate legs cakes and pies cakes and pies right okay see Walter don't know nothing about it because even I would have hit Kenya if we were in Anguilla and we're taking a shower together it would have slipped in by mistake I'm just saying gonna sit down on it real talk 
Okay, so um, what else do we have? Uh, we have Portia, and she had on her lace outfit, and it was all black, and, it, and she had the roses or flowers on her boobs, and then everything else was lace, and her hair was up, and one of the mushrooms, just like Phaedra. I don't know who told them that was in for the season. Maybe Kim Kardashian had that bush in her hair, but I just don't know if your hair should be in a mushroom. We use mushrooms for... Uh, lasagna, spaghetti, fettuccine, and ziti. Well, do we need mushrooms on your head? Poor boobs. But anyway, uh, let's talk about Kenya. Talking about everybody call her Beyonce. And she was in line. And everybody was lining up and like, Are you Beyonce? Beyond late. And, and I'm not trying to read. And she's like, oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Because Kenya always leave the room before you can finish your sentence. So, Kenya, let me tell you what I'm saying. You, you're you beautiful. You don't even have to try and act like Beyonce. That's like Janet Jackson trying to act like Michael Jackson. Like, Janet Jackson has a work of her own. She has Rhythm Nation. She has It's All, it's all Right, Miss You Much. And, you know, Michael has Dirty Diana. and her stuff. You're Kenya Moore. So, you don't even have to say people think you're Beyonce, you're 20 years or older, or maybe 10, I don't know, and I'm not trying to cut you, because you're beautiful, you're a vampire, bitch, that's what I'm saying, you're beautiful, okay, even though we see your skin, we put some makeup and foundation on it, and if you're nice, we'll overlook the skin, but you gotta be nice, and you put the eyelashes on, and the hair, your hair is real, and why does it look like you're wearing contact lenses when your beautiful eyes are brown anyway? Go on and sit down on that. Um, what about Nene um, telling, well, who is she telling the people? She was telling them, she was like, Kenya, don't think these girls are your friends and they're going to call you after the breast cancer scare. She was like, this is a show and you're co-workers, so they don't owe you anything. That's what I got when Nene was saying, kind of saying that. She was just like, don't think these girls are your friends. They're not your friends. You know, we're committed under contract to come to each other's events while we're filming. Other than that, I'm not going to see you bitches no more until next season. Go and sit down on it and get over it. Did you see McDonald's have that commercial in the middle of the Real Housewives reunion with the pita bread, the lettuce, and the tomatoes, and the fried chicken? McDonald's is going Mexican. Gonna sit down on it. Okay, right. With some ranch. I'm gonna fuck that sandwich up tomorrow. I'm just saying. Um, did you see when Kenya said to Phaedra, don't get smart with me, girl. She said, just because you have a baby don't mean I will not jump on you. Did you see when Kenya said that? Now, that was probably the rudest thing that I saw on the Real Housewives of Atlanta season five reunion show. That's probably the meanest thing. The craziest thing I saw was Nene's function when Kim and um, Sweetie were walking past Nene when she came out the elevator and she was like, oh girl, you need to stay. No, I'm going to leave. We've been waiting on you. No, you need to stay. And then Kim left. Okay, so that function Nene had for you know, all these progressive women in Atlanta and everything. And she was like, women need to stick together. But when Candy had, uh, two episodes later, when Candy had her thing for her Candy Bedroom Candy, her event, you know, launching her new line, Nene couldn't even take it. She didn't want to stay. She didn't want to support it. She didn't even want to say hi to Candy. And it just was funny to me how you talk out of both sides of your neck. It's just funny. And I love Nene, but, you know, it's both sides of your neck. Call the thing a thing. Hey, y'all, I'm that sad. Well, anyway, Kenny gets pissed off and she'll pull that fan in front of you. And she'll, Kenny will kill you in your sleep, baby. And take a nap on your dead body. Yes, yeah, mother is not taking her medicine. I can assure you. Well, anyway, listen. If you like the It's Just Mario show, definitely subscribe. And I'll see you next week for part two of the reunion. And you know I'm going to give it to you the way you like it. Have me put my glasses on and read the girls tonight but if you like the show definitely subscribe comment and tell me 
<laughs> what was your favorite part on the reunion show? Who is your favorite housewife? And if you like the show, okay? I'll see you guys next time when it's just Mario next week, all right? We're going to jam up out of here with our Kenya fan. I done sat here and made me a fan, baby. Right. It's a Kenya fan. I'm fabulous. I'm fabulous. What's that Kenya song? She be doing that. I'm fabulous. Bitch be crazy. See y'all.